Everyone wants it. Countless people have been robbed for it. It is probably the most valuable thing in the game. I am of course talking about honor. And if you clicked on this video, you probably want to know how to get this honor the quickest. And I will tell you everything you need to know. First fact I want to say is that honor, political power and enforcement are kind of the same. They work the same in the way they are given, but the main difference is that they correspond to different branches. Honor is for Red Army, political power is for CPSU, and enforcement is for, tada, militia. And of course, the different requirements for each level. Lieutenant in the Red Army and Lieutenant in militia isn't equal in the way how long you will need to grind to get them. Militia Lieutenant requires 60 points, whilst Red Army Lieutenant requires almost twice as much. Now let's begin with how to earn these as quickly as possible. Depending on your dedication, there are different levels of effectiveness on this technique. One way is to simply play the game. Now I only play for 30 minutes of each branch, so that ends up with like one and a half hours every day. The system of playing the game goes like this. 30 minutes, one honor, three hours, two honor, five hours, three honor, 10 hours, four honor. There are more than this, but people who can play for more than 19 hours at the border and still have a brain should get an Olympic medal. I think you should only play for like three hours per day for maximum efficiency. I may also mention that Viking Law set this up pretty smart marketing to make people play the game more. 30 minutes isn't that long of a time, but people will play for 3 hours just to get that one extra honor. When you think the difference between 30 minutes and 3 hours is pretty big, but the difference between 3 and 5 hours doesn't seem to be much of a difference. It is hard to see that it's only 30 minutes shorter, so why not play for another 2 hours to get another honor? Smart, but fucking irritating marketing. Another thing that could give you honor is attending the trainings, especially the GTs and the CTs. Not only do they give you a large amount of honor if you perform well, you also get better at formations, combat and other important stuff that you will need to know if you want to join a division that requires good combat skills. SSUs are also a thing, but they can take up longer time and you only really get better at saying either glory to CPSU or standing. The good thing with SSUs is that you can attend an SSU not only to get points for the event, but because SSUs are held in the game and not at a training camp, you will also get your daily playtime bonus. On that, two rocks with one HR. Oh wait, those are most effective techniques to get honor. There are some more, but these are pretty hard to do. The first one is to be ranked in a community event. These are pretty rare, but you can get some sweet points if you rank good. But this requires skills like GFX, Photoshop and other kinds of art. The second one that I have mentioned in this video is reporting AFK farmers. If you can successfully report an AFK farming game, you will be rewarded. You can learn more by watching my video on the forums. Uh, well, that was it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. I'll see you next time and uh, have a great time.